Um, it's, uh, it's 7.20. It's 7.20 in the morning. Okay, we we're in England! Woo! That was good. Some lady, or this lady, asked me if my unicorn pillow pit was a sheep. Ah. And I was like, no one has one. That's how we checked. She didn't have one. She got asked. Oh, 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 she got asked. I got an iced vanilla latte medium. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> We are at Kirby Stephen Parish Church, established in 1605. Wow. 10 a.m. is mass. Yeah. 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 Where are we guys? In Darlington! Darlington! When did you wake up this morning? Uh, 5. 30. What time did you go to bed? 8. Okay, okay. Yeah. I woke up at 4. Wow. Well. went to bed at 8. So nice. I'm feeling a little tired, but we had our tea. But it was and good. Of course. Two sets of different questions. Are they panicking because one set is geared more towards a boy, one set is geared more towards a girl? Okay. When you were growing up, did you prefer your mum to put ponytails or pigtails in your hair and why? That's the only correct answer for a man. I know I've got three daughters, so. Oh, sure. Uh, <laughs> Poly pigtails. Poly pigtails and why? Because it looks cute. It looks cute. <laughs> Okay, Alex, ready? This is a big one. I'm ready. When you were growing up, at what age did your voice break? And what did your <laughs> friends do? Well, um, I don't know. Because <laughs> I don't, it never happened. I've been talking like this since I was six. <laughs> okay, Ricky, do you want to share some story about Jesus, what he means to you? Going to college or university, um, I, I kind of realized that how much it means like to make it my own because it was always really easy you know in high school um, and growing up in church and everything like nobody really ever went against me for being a Christian um, but starting college and being on my own and even though it's like a it's a Christian university but it's not you know it's not all Christian like that was like a a wake up for me but I think it was a huge blessing uh, because it made me realize like how much I need God. The weekend before school started, I was in a horrible car accident. Um, I didn't get back to school till October, and school started in August, so I missed a ton of time um, for school. And I was talking to one of my professors, and he said, "Wow, you know, you're really, you're really meant to do something. God has a plan for you." And it was the first time that someone had actually said that to me, and it was just. It was really scary because that was the first time I could feel like the weight on my shoulders and I could feel the decisions that I made and I could feel like a whole. Um, and so I went to Ashley, who was my only friend that I had made a bow at because I was gone forever. And I just sat down with her and I was like, well, what does this mean? And I talked to the professor again and it was just, when I accepted Jesus, it was for the first time I could feel the weight off my shoulders. And during the fourth watch of the night, uh, Jesus went to them, walking on the lake, walk, walk, walking on the water. And when the disciples saw him walking on, on the lake, they were terrified. Where are we?
we? David and Diana's house. For? For a barbecue. Yay! Yay! Food! Food! <laughs> I said a better British band like the Beatles. No. Oh. Uh, yes. Okay. The Beatles are here. Other British bands are down here. Yeah. Well, Led Zeppelin's up there. Led Zeppelin's up there. They're British. Is Led Zeppelin British? Yes. What? Are they? Are you lying, Doug? No. I'm gonna put this in the video. Okay. <laughs> this girl has a brace on her leg. She's crazy. If you start busking, you won't do it. If you what? If you start busking, you just play it all to yourselves. If you do that a lot. So if you don't play money. Ultimately, we're going to going school. Going to school? Gonna, gonna play with the kids or something? <laughs> I need to know what. Hey, what speed does the DeLorean go to get to the future? Time, yeah, to time travel? 83? What? No, it's 88. The DeLorean. Oh, no, it's like you lost. How fast has it gone? 88. 88. 88. 88, okay. <laughs> Is a prehistoric monument which still stands in the English county of Wiltshire. <laughs> a is it Stonehenge? B is it Adrian's Wall? C is it Offer's Dyke? Or D is it Fountain's Abbey? They already found a friend. <laughs> you made your friend? No, no, I didn't ask him, so that doesn't count, right? <laughs> <laughs> so the answer is A Stonehenge. Classes today. Say something British. Hey. Like lovely. British. Yeah, we're from Would you like some tea? Hitting competition. I don't know. Something. Far, you gotta hit it the farthest. Hit it the farthest. Woo! 
These are real fish and chips. I think your mom opted out. They ran out. Hey guys, where are we? Hey guys, you're on video. Um, I forget the name. <laughs> Rose Top. We're going to Narnia. To Narnia. To Narnia. Finally made it to the top. Here's our view of Darlington in the panoramic. The shell stares the sand and round themselves. The trees rustle as if to kneel and listen. It's 11:08 a.m. Our flight has been delayed three hours in Dublin. We had to leave before the team, so now we're on our way home. Merca. Oh, this is terrible.